one of the lessons that so few men actually learn is to understand the game they're playing and know the rules. And here's what I mean. So like if we go play baseball or in this house when we go play dodgeball, the first thing we do is we sit there and we go, okay, here's the rules of the game, right? We got a clear objective. You're trying to get all those guys out. Here's the line. If you catch a ball, your teammate comes back. We, we know the rules of the game, right? So many times in life, men and, and people in general will just walk into a game that they, have, that they haven't even defined the game, nor do they know the rules. Here's what I mean. Let me give you an example. You'll see this all the time in careers. You got people that are like, man, I know I'm worth more than what I make. And if that's you, I've been there. Don't, don't be mad about that. But listen, but hear me out. You think like, man, I'm worth $250,000. I should be making this much and they're not paying me. And you're like, you know, you're down on the job you got because you're in HR and you're making $80,000. Well, let me ask you this. Who, who decides how much you make in that situation? Well, ultimately you, but when you went and took a job, you said, hey, I agree with the valuation you've given me and I'm gonna continue to allow you to tell me when I get to get my pay rise and my promotion. You've handed over the right to say how much you're valuable and that's the game you're playing. So you have to sit there and be humble enough to go like, okay, if, if I think I'm worth more, I gotta say, what do the guys who are, who are making more, what do they do? Well, they probably own their own business or they're in sales or they're like a C-suite person. So the rules of the game that you're playing means you either gotta pay your price for a couple decades if you wanna work your way up in the corporation, or you can go change and play a different game. And we glance past this all the time. What are the rules of the game that you're playing in life? Well, let me, let me explain the rules of the game that you're playing in the kingdom. Here's, here's the rules of the game. God wants you to get to know him, right? He wants you to know his ways, and then he wants to mature you into what? into a son so that you can go and be about the father's business. You're about the family business. That's the game we're playing. And if you don't understand that, you're gonna misinterpret a lot of what happens to you. So how is God gonna mature you? Sounds great, right? Pain, difficulty, adversity, failure, challenges, right? And if you're the guy that thinks like, oh man, you know, life's about fun and games, and man, you know, God just wants me to have good times and he just wants it. You know who thinks that? Toddlers. Little kids think that. And, and what we don't need is a bunch of 40-year-old little kids that are walking around interpreting difficulty as like, oh, when's this gonna stop? Man, I just, I'm so tired of this. Like, where's God in all this? Guess what? God is using that to mature you. If you don't have the humility to stop and ask the question, instead of asking when's it gonna stop, ask the question, what do I need to learn? When you start grasping on that, right, now difficulty becomes discipline, right? Pain becomes an opportunity. It becomes a teacher where you can grow and mature. Look at the Bible, guys. Go read Hebrews 12. He disciplines the, the son he loves. So if you're going through difficult times, if you've got challenges right now, great. I'm serious, great. God loves you. God loves you. But it's not about like the hard time. It's about you understanding, okay, God is trying to teach me something. Why? Because he's preparing you for greatness, to go on into the family business, right? I mean, you can see this over and over and over again in scripture. When, G when, when Jesus told the disciples, you're going you're gonna to be my witnesses in, in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the world. Whew, doesn't that sound awesome? Man, how, how's he going to do that? I bet you it's just going to be a breakout, revival. Oh, they're going to start killing people. Oh, and then we're going to flee for our lives, and that's how we're going to spread the gospel. Check. Okay, God's idea of good is different than ours. Garrett said it previously and it stuck out to me so much. Good for God is maturity. Good for us is like comfort and ease. Those things are in conflict. If you don't realize that, you're gonna have a lot of frustration in your life and you're gonna feel like God left you when he's right there going, come on, son, I see more in you. I want you to learn this. I want you to grow. I want you to be great because I know what I put in you. So understand what we're doing this morning, guys. The rules of the game that we're playing, we are here. Don't be the guy that's in here for just good times and I wanna get more money and you know, I wanna do all this. That's great, you can start there, but don't stay there, right? We're here to mature and be sons of God. And what do sons do? They grow up and they get to the point where they take care of themselves so well that actually they can bring a wife on and then they can bring a family. That's a picture that God's given you and it happens automatically in the physical, but you gotta choose it in the soul and in the spirit. So let's choose to understand the rules that we're playing that God did not make you to just look after you and yours. He made you to be great, to be able to bring others up, to be able to carry other burdens, and to be able to go about and be about the Father's business and do his work. So that's the rules of the game we're playing. Y'all with me this morning? Good, let's go.